Who knew spinning tops could take you to space? This panel proposes an unorthodox space launching method by spinning a body on and on to gain enough speed to reach space. It seems creative and intriguing, but it doesn't work. What might at first look like one of Wild E. Coyote's shenanigans is exactly what a certain company has been trying to do for quite some years now. They have built a giant centrifuge to launch spacecrafts into orbit. The electric motor would spin the rocket for at least an hour depending on its weight to build up momentum. Once once it reaches like 2000 meters per second, the release mechanism would cut the rocket loose, propelling it at approximately 7 times the speed of sound. Well, that's really something, isn't it? But if we examine this step by step, we will find that this design creates way more problems than it solves. First and foremost, the centrifuge has to be a complete vacuum chamber. This is crucial because at high speeds air resistance will be a major drawback to any system. That's not impossible to do but really expensive. After that you would need to spin the rocket for long periods of time in order to build up speed. And here we start to meet real technical difficulties. Spinning like this would consume massive amounts of energy. Moreover, the spinning object has to endure crushing amounts of centrifugal force, which is not a real force, but it is used to describe the effect of being pushed away from the center, similar to the sensation you feel on a swing ride. So assuming you had so much energy to spare and built some kind of rocket that could withstand these immense forces, you would then need to worry about precision and safety measures. Because I would not like to be around if that trebuchet accidentally sends towards me a projectile that's 7 times the speed of sound. But then spinning at high speeds, the system would have less than tenth of a second to orient the rocket at the right direction. When it's theoretically possible to design such a system, it packs with it insane engineering nightmares. When the rocket is eventually released, it transitions from a vacuum environment to Earth's atmosphere introducing huge amounts of friction that will initiate extreme heat. Additionally, moving faster than the speed of sound creates shock waves, which would further complicate the rocket's trajectory and structural integrity. Altogether, this idea is a highly inefficient system. It consumes huge amounts of energy that could be used for something better. It takes so long to spin up. It has way too much risk for very little payoff. And I don't think it can even get rockets to space. It doesn't have any merit unless it was used in the future on the moon or somewhere with new atmosphere.